And now we've come to the part of uh, Paul's life whenever he's stoned for death. Just let stoned for death. Just let's recap. Paul here is now called Paul from being Saul. He's going to he's an apostle and he's now uh, preaching the gospel and the re- religious leaders hate Paul. So he's on the run and he tells his uh, other friends, the other disciples, the apostles, how he's going to leave to different parts of the world and Barnabas, his friend, comes bes- comes with him. And remember, of course, Barnabas, all the other disciples never believed that Paul was a Christian, but Barnabas befriended him. And the Christian life, it's always good to have friends. It's good to be friends, and it's good to have a friend who you can share with, you can pray with, you can talk about the Bible with, tell people what you, what you want to do with God. Somebody you can trust, and somebody you can serve with. It's just wonderful. Um, and here they go, they're traveling by ship to Cyprus, and now they're going to go to Antioch, and in Antioch, they're going to spend uh, over a year preaching and establishing. People are getting converted. They come together to worship God, and that establishes what's called a church. And in Antioch, is with a place where they're first called Christians. And a Christian uh, simply means a little Christ, an example of Christ. So to take on the name of a Christian is a very serious thing. It's also very special because you're representing Christ here on earth. When you say you're a Christian, it means you belong to Christ. So you're taking that name of Christ upon you. So it's a miniature Christ. But everywhere Paul and Barnabas went, and they took John Mark with them on their travels, the, the, the Jewish people, the religious leaders, formed together against him and always accused him of preaching blasphemy because they were preaching and that was like religious and they always tried to chase them out of their villages, of their towns, but they kept preaching everywhere they went. And now after being in Antioch for a year, because of persecution, because they were in danger, they had to move on again. And now they find themselves in a place called Lystra. And as they're preaching, they notice a lame man. And as Paul's preaching, he knows that that man, by listening to the word of God, he's got converted. He's believed in Paul's message. Because the Bible says, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So as Paul preached the word of God, this man listened, and he believed it. And he received Christ as a saviour. And because of this, Paul just looked at the man who was lame. He had never walked, he was paralysed probably never walked in his life before and Paul says stand up and walk and immediately the man stood up and walked the people couldn't believe it see God allowed Paul and Barnabas to do miracles and the people saw there's something different but these whenever they saw that this lame man walked who is paralyzed could never walk before they thought he was some they were some sort of a god and right away they went and they got a necklace of flowers and they put them around the neck of Paul and Barnabas and they began to worship them and began to bow down to them. And Paul, Paul said, we're not gods and took off the necklaces. We're here to tell you about the true and living God, the God of heaven, the Christ, the Messiah. He's come. He's been crucified. He's risen again. And he, he can save you if you will turn from your sin and turn from idolatry and turn from all these false gods to the true and living God. But the people said, so you're not a god? What? And they literally took Paul out because they seen him as a leader. They took him out and they took him and they stoned him. They stoned him so hard, they were about to throw the final stone. They said, we don't need to stone it. We don't need to throw the last one. He's dead already. And now they left the apostle Paul. God's got great plans for Paul's life. And everywhere he went, the people hated him just for being a Christian. They hated him just for believing the Bible, just for preaching the gospel. But God had great plans for his life. But remember, the Lord Jesus said, Paul must suffer many things for my name's sake. And Paul wasn't dead. The people thought he was dead. Do you see whenever his friends came over, he got converted, who were Christians along with Barnabas. And John Mark, he was afraid. He went home. He couldn't stick the pace. Many today can't stick the pace. When the going gets tough, they pack their bags and they go home. They can't stay in the mission field or even a Christian life. Maybe at school, it's too hard to be a Christian. The temptation to do all the things that are wrong and to go with the wrong crowd is too much. And you give up in the Christian life and you go with them. Anyone could do that. But a real Christian stays strong to the Bible, stays true to God, stays true to the Lord Jesus. And when the going gets tough, the tough in Christ gets going. And Paul, when his friends came to lift him, he just stood up. 
and he shook the dust off his feet and he said, let's keep going to reach more people for Christ. What an inspiration Paul was. Nothing or no one was going to stop him living for the Lord Jesus because Christ had saved him. Now he was a new creature in Christ Jesus and nothing was going to hinder his walk for God. Nobody.